Well, she has lived in Bemidji for 23 years and has considered herself an artist all her life. And currently, her silk paintings are on display at the Watermark Art Center. Kathleen Cohen talked to Mary Therese to find out more about what inspires her as an artist and about her interesting choice of medium. Being a painter all my life, I, I love exploring mediums and um, approaching different surfaces and just um, searching for contrast in light and dark and rhythm. She paints every day and has loved art since a very young age. And Mary Therese's silk paintings exhibit Flying in Circles is currently on display at the Watermark Art Center in Bemidji. I think that it, I would have an empty life without art because I'm incredibly fascinated by creating things out of nothing or just gathering up materials and bringing something new into the world. It's like giving birth. And Mary Therese did that by creating many pieces that are now on display in the exhibit. But four pieces representing the elements stand out as a focal point. To begin with is water and using dragonflies born of the water. The larva comes up from the lake. so. It's always she says it's her own personal experiences with the elements, water, wind, earth, and fire that served as inspiration for the four pieces. The lake, and, and it's just a heavenly time, so I spend a lot of time on the lake, so this is kind of my reflection with water. Um, as a young girl, I would lay on my back in the fields growing up in the country and just watching the birds and clouds, so that was one of my favorite pastimes. Mary Therese uses nature and meditation to help come up with ideas when she paints, and those two themes seem to be apparent in her work. I try to communicate what I feel in, in the natural world of peacefulness, uh, joy, you know, and the beauty, and trying to um, make that statement. And she uses music, rhythm, dance, and repetition to help create patterns within each silk piece. As you can see, Mary Therese's scarves are on display as artwork at the Watermark Art Center, but they can also be worn as fashionable pieces. For this week's In Focus, Kathleen Cohen, Lakeland News. The painting that Mary Therese was working on, apart from the Flying Circles exhibit, is part of a project for the Bemidji Food Shelter, where other local artists will also add their creative input. That piece of artwork will be outside in the food shelter's garden area when the weather gets warm. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.